So you're going to use just a regular brownie mix. This is the, the one that I used. Um, I, and just kind of use the instructions with came with it. It calls for two eggs, a half a cup of oil, and instead of using a quarter cup of water, I always use coffee, and that enhances the chocolate flavor. If you don't have coffee, just use the water, but um, it's just kind of, it's kind of good. Okay, that's what I need to wash my bowl now. Okay, back to our peanut butter filled brownies. Okay, I just took the liberty of making the brownies because there really wasn't anything special to it. It's just a regular brownie mix. The only thing different than what it says on the package is I use the coffee instead of the water. So that's our, and baked it, and that's all ready to go. Now, to our filling, we're going to use two cups of cream, uh, chunky peanut butter, two cups of powdered sugar, half a cup of butter, right? Okay, and all this butter softened. So we've got our, tilt that up, we'll put our butter in first. <clears throat> I hate measuring out peanut butter. Okay, our peanut butter and our butter. And if you don't like the chunky peanut butter, you can certainly use the, the um, smooth. Okay. We're going to put our um, powdered sugar. We're gonna gradually add this, because if we added it all at once and you turn on the mixer, you know what happens. It poofs all in your face. And I know that from experience. Okay, so we've got our powdered sugar. We've got a tablespoon of um, vanilla. It's gonna go in here. And Looks good. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to take our cooled brownies, put our peanut butter mixture on that. And it does seem a little stiff, but it does work. to say I did taste one of these and they are good because what could be wrong with peanut butter and chocolate I think that would be and this again next week we're going to talk about gifts from your kitchen um, you know, any of the things that we did here tonight would be excellent for that. Just to, you know, cut these up and put them in some pretty packaging. On a plate, they all make great hostess gifts if you're going somewhere and, and just want to take something to somebody. Or you don't know what to give somebody, they make, you know, it's nice to have a little plate of cookies or brownies or something like that. All right. Okay. Ooh, yummy. All right, now we got that. We're gonna make our chocolate topping, because it all has to have a chocolate topping on here, which is just, and it, it, this is better known as ganache, heavy cream and some chocolate. I thought it'd be easy just to use chocolate chips. 
So we're going to, that's a half a cup of cream, and we're going to put, hmm, I'll use this. I don't cut my thumb off. Okay. And we'll use a cup of the chocolate chips. This doesn't take long to um, heat up. I wouldn't go and talk on the phone for an hour. And to this, I believe we're going to add, we add a teaspoon of vanilla. We don't want to forget that. Okay. Um, I think it depends on what you're uh, doing. You know, if you were just going to, um, if you wanted to do chocolate cookies, like that one chocolate cookie that we made that was chocolate with the Ghirardelli um, chips, I think that would be really good because you're adding extra chocolate flavor. If you're melting them down, you know, putting a lot of extra ingredients in, does it really matter? It's really just a, a matter of taste. Um, I think that the semi-sweet chocolate that we have in the food club is very good for chocolate chip cookies, for um, whatever, if you wanted to do something a little bit, you know, more special. If you were using this as a sauce, you might want to have a little bit better chocolate, even some of the bittersweet chocolate that we have down there that you would just go ahead and mix with the, the, um, the cream like this over ice cream in a bowl by itself. <laughs> You know, I'm envisioning a jar of peanut butter and a bowl of this. An old movie. <laughs> All right, back to reality here. All right, we've got this stirred up. We're just going to kind of incorporate our chocolate's melting. I'm going to turn this off. So you want to use the best, to, to answer your question a little bit better, Mary, to, you want to use the best ingredients that you can afford. So, you know, it, I think this is a really good product. Um, that's what I would choose if you chose to use something a little bit more expensive, you know, to enhance the flavor, you know, that would be, that would be great. Okay. We'll add our teaspoon of vanilla. Give that a little flavor. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make that smooth. Okay. Oh, my goodness. You what? Yes. Whatever. <laughs> yes, I did. Didn't you, didn't you remember that? You can. It's not real hot. Sometimes we just have to do things outside the box. Okay. All right, there is our peanut butter filled brownies. And you'll be amazed when you taste them because they are wonderful. Okay. Now, let's see what we